Hello everyone and welcome back to Polly's Pretties. Thought I'd come on today and share with you... I guess I should call this a randomness haul. We went out today, the hubs and I, and little brown man, for at least the first part. And the hubby gave me some, as I would call it, crazy cash. I didn't go too crazy, because the budget didn't allow. But I did get a few things, so let's just jump into it. It's, it's a mix. I'm going to tell you that now. It is. It's a mix and it's a mess, but we're going to do it so I can get it off this desk. My desk is about ready to implode, I think. So my hubs got me these the other night, and what happened is these were a confusion buy. These are regular number two pencils. Okay. Pretty colored. Still yet number two pencils, which I don't use too often. Um... I'm going to keep them, though, because he bought them, and they were expensive. They weren't cheap. But what he really went looking for was the, I'm going to pronounce this probably badly, Yobai colored pencils. We've seen them. Rite Aid had them. He went, and he thought these were those, and they aren't. They're the number twos. So I'm going to use them, because I do sometimes use them when I'm tracing something or when I'm drawing out something. That way, if I make a mess, I can straighten it up. <coughs> so that's that. That came from there. Now I'm going to show you a couple things I got from Amazon because I want to get this stuff, like I said, put away. So the first thing I got here, um, I'm going to look and see if I, okay, this is called Autumn Gate, but it's not really a gate, it's a door. I'm going to see, how can I show you? Aha, maybe. Yes. Okay, that will help, I think. Here's what they look like. I thought they were cute. I haven't tested them yet, um, but will be. And then the other set of stamps I got from Amazon were these by Globeland. And they don't have a name, at least not there anyway. Autumn Fashion Something Home. Um, anyway, here's what they look like. I thought I'd play with these in a little while and make something okay then we went to i gotta remember what was from where the dollar general way out the road next to our shop and save and i got a few little things from there that were on sale so i didn't pay full price for anything this is an almost out of date calendar but it's got puppies and kittens on it i figured i could take it and use it for some of the pictures for crafting so i'll set that down there Maybe. Okay. And then this says $284, but this wasn't even a dollar because it was on sale out there. It's just random, different size gems, different kind of gems. There's stars, circles, squares, moons. I think I saw a heart in there. And they're different colors. So, got that. And then I got these two which were only 30 cents a piece not 90 like it says and there's gold gems and there's silver gems because i'm running out of gems and i can't get to michael's and stuff when they have their sales so i gotta get what i can locally then we came back through town and we went to rite aid and that's the next stuff i'll do so i got Five coloring books there. One I've already given to the person I meant it for, but these are all brand new. And they were all like a dollar, dollar nine. And this was a dollar. This one's for me. And I it's called coloring and activity book, so it is meant for more kids. It's not like an adult book. Um, but that's okay. Sometimes these are fun to mess with. Then I got this one. This was a dollar ninety nine, like it's priced, and it's called Trolls World Tour. It's coloring and activity. Um but I figured, why not? I like to color them now and then. Then the next one was also a dollar. And this one is a Jumbo Coloring and Activity book. Again, these are all kids' books. And then the last one I got, this was $3.99, and I bought two of these. One for myself and one for my daughter, because she absolutely goes bananas about this movie. It is Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. And it comes, if I can get my fingers to work right, with a sticker page. So I got myself one of these and I got my daughter one. And that was my big purchase at Rite Aid. 
And then we went to the Dollar General closer to the house, and I found a few little things I just couldn't walk out without. One was these little 26-count treat bags that says Trick or Treat, and it looks like the witch is upside down in her own cauldron, so but I thought they were cute for Halloween. Then this one is Gem Decals, three count, and it was only a dollar. And it has, if I get my fingers out going here, it has the witch, a bat, and the word boo. And then the last two things are duplicates of each other, but like I said, I was running out, so I saw these. These are a dollar piece. And they're just the little half pearls that are sticky. And I got those. And that was my big haul, guys. That was my crazy money to do crazy things. Um, so that was my crazy. Because, uh, I, like I said, when you start running out of things, you realize, oh boy, I better find a place to get this stuff. So that's what I did. And like I said, I thought this would be cute. I could take like the pictures off the back and stuff and, and use them and make little things with them. And I could probably use the inside pictures for something as well. So that's why I got that. And I'm all about dogs. Y'all know that. So if I wasn't, I'd be in big trouble because there's <clears throat> a four-legged friend underneath my feet. But don't tell him I said that. So, anyway, I thought I'd share the haul, and that way I can get some of this cleaned up. Uh, I do want to show one, share one other thing with you, and this isn't haul-related. Well, it is and isn't, I guess. It's not haul-related from today. We'll put it that way. So, the other day, we went to the thrift store, and I hauled a bunch of stuff, and a bag had some stencils in it, and it had some pattern-looking pieces in it, which turned out to be my good fortune. They were old... Oh, I don't know if you're going to see this too well. Let me see that way. Okay, they were old. Um, and I just know it. Okay, embroidery patterns. Where you take in and you color over them with, well, you don't color, you write over them with a embroidery pencil. You lay it down and then you take your hot iron and you go across it and it prints it onto your fabric so you can embroider it. Well, this girl don't embroidery. Uh, my eyes and stuff, no, we, we're not embroidering. But what if we took that, and I know this works, Okay, so bear with me. But what if we took our embroidery pattern and printed it out? Then, while it's printed out, now I've done this with some bigger ones here. Let me grab a couple here that are the same. What if when we print it out, we use markers, colored pencils, crayons, what have you, and color it up? What if we then have pieces of ephemera to use and we bought the pattern so it's not like we don't own the pattern okay so we're not like breaking the rules there and we're not selling the stuff this is personal use okay so what if we did that okay like here's another pattern and I cut the bottom off because I hated it it was just too big and it had numbers all over it and blah 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 but here is another pattern and what if you print it out okay here was another pattern. Let me get this guy. Well, let me get the other one too, so you can see them both. Uh, this is the same pattern. I just printed it twice. Whoops! When I throw this one away, evidently. Um, but look, what if we do print them out and color them up? Like I said, we're not giving it away. We're not selling it. We're not, you know, sending it across the country or whatever. We're using it for personal use. Okay. So it'll be in our books. It'll be in our junk journals, it'll be in our art journals, you know, what have you that we use. So why not do that? Why not make some of our own ephemera to help offset some of the costs? Because scrapbooking and art journaling and all that can come with a pretty hefty price tag. So why not offset some of the cost if you can? And especially since you bought the pattern anyway. So that's what I was doing the other night. I printed a bunch of the patterns that I had gotten out which I did save them, and I colored them up and I filled up this little lid. As you can see, bottom to top, this guy's full. And I plan on using that as some of my ephemera pieces to make stuff with. So, <clears throat> there you have it. Now you have some more of my crazy. Um, ooh, uh, but anyway, that was the fun little bits of things I've been up to the last couple days. The days before that, I wasn't feeling so hot and didn't do much. But hopefully that's changing. Hopefully the, the everything is changing and, and we'll get it back in gear and get it going again. Like I said, i got to clean this desk off. Y'all can see this. This is a mess. 
it's just a mess. Okay, this is a mess. I got a mess over here. I got a mess right there. I got... Yeesh. Jeez. My room is a mess. <laughs> it is time to clean it up. So that's exactly what I plan to do this evening. I plan on doing some cleaning and then probably finishing working on these so I can get them cut out and put away. Um, they were all like Christmas other than the flower one, which isn't Christmas. I think it's an iris. So you could use that summer. Um, but a lot of it was Christmas stuff, which is fine with me. I'm fine with that. And then I plan to try to go through my box of ribbons, but don't tell my daughter. Because she absolutely hates digging that thing up because it's under her bed. Uh, we've been trying to move them in here and put them on the shelf back there behind me. As you can see, the tools back there and some of the ribbon is. But I know I still have loads of big ribbons with the wire edges and stuff to get moved. And I have a really fat, like, ribbon spool that has, like, velvety ribbon on it. And don't know where I'm going to put it all. Don't. It comes from years of collecting. Um, but I'm trying to get stuff out so I work with it, so I use it, so I know where it's at. We'll see how it goes. So, and the coloring is telling me what's running out too, as far as my markers and things like this, because I've got some holes in the shelves now where the markers have gone and they didn't have as much goo in them anymore. And so I'll probably end up having to go on a marker spree here soon. Don't know where I'll do that at, because I know our Walmart was starting to carry some markers and stuff, and getting in some adult coloring books. So I might go out there and have a peek. Or have the boss man go and have a peek, depending. But I hope y'all are having a brilliant, wonderful, beautiful day wherever you are. Our day here is sunny, but chilly. If you are in that shade and that wind blows, you're going to shiver. Um, It's not even, I think, I don't think he even said it was like 68 today here yet. So, um, and it's really cloudy. It, it's kind of a offset gray um not that it's a bad day because we went out and I, I actually enjoyed it i did i actually enjoyed it um for the first dollar general haul out the road we had took brownie with us and i had a sweater on him because he's sheared down where he went to the spa day um but i felt that he was getting too cold when we come back through this way before going to Rite Aid and the other dollar general so i had dropped him off here with my daughter and she kept an eye on him while we went ahead and went over and did the things over there. And then I come back and, of course, him and I had a snuggle session and a cover-up with a cover session and a lay at mom's feet session. And <laughs> and he's still under my feet right now. So that ought to tell you. The season is definitely changing and, yeah, so... Well, hopefully, like I said, y'all are having a beautiful, brilliant, wonderful day wherever you are. I hope you get a chance to get out and enjoy it at least a little bit, even if it's only just for your lunch break and you sit outside and have lunch. But I hope you do. Um, and I hope you remember to just smile at least once. And thank you so much if you've watched the video. I appreciate it greatly. I am trying to grow this channel. Yes, I do have a secondary channel, but it is not this kind of crafting. Um, it is a different kind, um, but it can be educational if you aren't afraid of it. So, uh, the channel is linked, Jade Maple, that is my other one, if you want to go check it out. And until next time, thank you so much for being here, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.